Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go over the ABC model of flower development. The ABC model is a model of flower development based on the expression of three homeotic gene groups, group A, B, and C. Flowers consist of four whorls of floral organs that develop in rings that flank the Mary stem. The first to develop is the sepal whorl, followed by the petal whorl, then the stamen whorl, ending with the carpal whorl that stays the central whorl. This model of flower development has been studied in the model plant species Arabidopsis thaliana. In Arabidopsis, the A genes are represented by two main genes, Apatella 1 and Apatella 2. The B genes are also represented by two main genes, Apatella 3 and Pistillata. The C genes are represented by one gene, Agamus. These genes work together in the development of the different flower whorls. A gene expression alone is responsible for the development of the sepal whorl. Both A gene and B gene expression together are responsible for the development of the petal whorl. Both B gene and C gene expression together are responsible for the development of the stamen whorl. C gene expression alone is responsible for the development of the carpal whorl. Mutations in any of these genes affects the development of these whorls. A wild type flower with no mutations in any of the gene groups will present with all four flower whorls. Mutations in the A genes affects the two outermost whorls, the sepals and the petals. In mutants lacking A genes, no sepals or petals develop, as both these require the expression of A genes either alone or in conjunction with B genes to develop. Instead, C genes are expressed instead of the A genes. This means that in place of the sepals, carpals instead develop as the first whorl. It also means that in place of petals, stamens develop as the second whorl. The third whorl stays unchanged and still develops as stamens, as does the fourth whorl that still develops as the carpals. In plants with mutations in the B genes, no petals or stamens develop as both these require the expression of B genes in conjunction with other genes to develop. As in wild type plants, the first world to develop has not been affected by this mutation and still develops as the sepals. But because no B genes are expressed, a second world of sepals develops as the second world in place of what would have been the petal world. Instead of stamens, the third world develops into a carpal world. The fourth world stays unchanged and still develops as the carpals. In plants with mutations in the C genes, no reproductive organs develop, so no stamens or carpals develop as they require the expression of C genes to develop. A genes are expressed instead of the C genes. In these plants, whorl 1 is unaffected by the mutation and still develops as sepals. The second whorl is also unaffected by the mutation and still develops as petals. But because A genes are expressed instead of the C genes in this mutation, the third world develops as a second world of petals instead of the stamens. World 4 is also affected by this mutation and instead of developing into the carpals, it develops into a second world of sepals. Thank you for watching. If you want to support this channel, please subscribe and check out more of my videos.